All right, let's try another one. Um, go to pattern-collections.com on your mobile device or on your laptop or desktop, whatever. It will look a little different on your desktop or your laptop than it does on your mobile device. But in any case, you'll go to the home page. It's pattern-collections.com and you'll scroll down until you find pattern focus. And then you'll find today's pattern, which is this one. One, two, three um, by Melinda Barlow CZT. One, you make like a seed, a dark seed. Two, you make a uh, or around that seed. Can you even see that? I'm a little far away. I got a bit of glare. Okay. And three, you do one more. This is a lot like how I do Bunzo. Um, and then it looks like that. Um says that this pattern is similar to the pattern known as anti-dots by Anita Roby Lavery. The only difference is that one, two, three starts with a solid drop. Um, and like I said, it's very similar to how I draw Bunzo. I prefer Bunzo to look more like a teardrop than an arc. Um, so we'll just do this the way it's, it's drawn. It's one, two, three by Melinda Barlow. And you start with a black teardrop. We will just do that. Um, we're going to do our string. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a border here. Our string goes like this and then it has this little flag like thing. I'm going to start kind of maybe right here. You can see my string hardly see it because I draw it really light but I think I'm going to start here and I'm going to grow outward this direction and maybe we'll add maybe I'll add something here Ooh, oh maybe I'll do that maybe I'll put some going this way and then some starting here and going around this way oh that's what I'll do Okay, I have figured it out what I want to do. So I am going to want a border. I don't always, well, maybe, maybe I only want a corner border. Let's do a corner border. I'm going to just do two sides like that. And then I'm going to start here and work my way kind of outward. So do a teardrop, a dark teardrop, and then do two around it like that. And just keep growing it. A dark teardrop, two, three. Dark teardrop, two and three. How easy is that, right? Dark teardrop, two and three. Boom. And overlap them as you see fit. Make them come out however direction you want them to go. kind of hiding behind. Like 
like that. Okay, I like that. I want one more right here. Like that. And then I'm going to start going the other direction. I'm going to circle around this. Just going to grow it whatever direction it ends up taking it's going to have a life of its own which is good that's what i like this is going to be super quick and easy It'll be a fast one which is good because I got things to do. I already said that in my last video. I have things to do today. It is now almost noon and I have errands to run. weird weather today for us um, it's very monsoonal it's a warm day but it looks like we're gonna have some rain again we had a little bit of rain yesterday well depend on where you lived um, my manager said it was just pouring at his house I didn't get a whole lot of rain I got just enough to make mud on my car you know that where you get just get those drops that makes a muddy mess. Yeah, that's that's what I got. But that's okay. I will take my car through the car wash in a day or two once the monsoonal thing passes. We don't usually get this, so it's a refreshing change for us. At least I think so. Some people don't like it. I like it. I think I'm going to make my teardrops sort of a different shape. Maybe give them a bit of personality here at the edge. Instead of being fully teardroppy, they're going to be a little droopy. Like that. Why not? Why not, right? Nothing says it has to be exactly the same shape all the time. Why can't you make it 
a more interesting shape like that. Sure. Sounds like the neighbor's gardener is here. Just all sorts of things happening next door at the neighbor's house. This is fun. You can tell because I'm a little bit quiet, but also that I'm just, I'm not planning, I'm just doing. And a lot of times just doing is so much fun. You never know what kind of a thing you're gonna end up with. And actually, I think I'm about done. I feel really good with that shape. Maybe one more coming out here, and then I think I'm finished. Like that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Quick and easy. One, two, three. String 43, I'm gonna just erase just a bit right here. Get rid of that border. And I might do something with the ends of this where I made this side. Maybe I'll do a little teardrop right there. There we go. You needed, needed some sort of finishing on this edge. I could have just, I should have just done a little bit in the corner instead of a whole big long line, but. All right, I'm done. Look at that, isn't that fun? And I'm not even feeling like I have to shade it. I could shade right here where it's overlapping and maybe I will just do just a little bit. But I don't feel like it needs a whole lot. Is that too much? No, that's all right. I don't want to overdo because I don't want to, I mean, I could go in there and shade all those little where they kind of all come together like that, but I feel like I like it the way it is. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Quick, easy. Uh, you guys can do this. Absolutely, you can do this. And uh, I hope that uh, you give it a try and share it. You know, um, I've had a lot of people say that they're afraid to share on um, social media. And, um, you know, I, I understand that hesitation, I really do. Um, but if you are in a safe and secure group like Tangle It Pattern Club, 
like the other Zentangle groups. I've, I've been members at one time or another of most of the Zentangle groups. Some of them are more a better fit for me than others. Um, some of them do require you to follow certain rules. So, you know, make sure you understand the rules before you join a group. But, um, you know, I've, I have yet to encounter any real negative uh, mojo in any of these groups. Um, anytime you post something, especially if you say, you know, it's the first time I've posted, um, you will get the confirmation and the feedback that you need to feel better about your art. You really will. So, um, you know, I really encourage you if you've never, um, if you've never put your out, art out there before to do it in a safe environment. Um, don't show it to your spouse or your friends unless you know that they are going to support you in what you're doing because, um, with, without meaning to, they can, shoot you down and that would be bad I, I would hate to see you get shot down just because somebody doesn't understand this type of art form so um like i said just uh put your art out there in a supportive environment and get the feedback that you need so that you can continue and you can grow and you can feel better about your art um art's very personal it really is it's 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 very very personal so I could totally understand not wanting to share, but if you feel led to do so, you know, if you don't want to do it um, publicly, go to my Draw Tangles with Dawn Facebook page um, and send me a private message through there and you can show, share it to me, just me, rather than like a whole group. And um, I'm happy to look at your art and um, give you feedback on, on the parts that I really like. Because I never tell you the parts I don't, that I think can be changed unless you ask. Um, but I will always tell you, I love your composition or great line work or I, colors are spectacular or your shading is awesome or you really mastered that pattern. I will give you the positive affirmation that you might be looking for. So, um. Unless you say, you know, I didn't do this pattern right. Can you figure out what I did wrong? Um, and and you're looking for that kind of thing. I'll, I'll, I'll help you with that too. But for the most part, I'm here to give you guys love and support and uh, tell you, you can do it. You really can. So I'd like to see your stuff. I really would. So please share. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.